Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to All the Mods Expert Remastered. So, I hope you guys, for those of you that celebrated it, I hope that you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Mine was crazy busy, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, I was originally planning on releasing more videos during the week, but I did not get even a moment to really sit down until, like, Sunday, and I was so exhausted, I just went to bed, <laughs> and um, then woke up a little bit early and started recording uh, Monday stuff. <laughs> it's kind of a late start to the week, but uh, we should be back on track now. Um, I'm actually recording this on Monday um, afternoon-ish. So, anyways, I did do a bit, of, a little bit of work um, on the base on here. Um, as you can tell, like when you walk in, I've added grass, and I went ahead and spread it. And I made a watering can to help spread that. And then I also started getting into architecture craft a little bit, working on the pillars. These are all dark stone um, bricks. And I also made a framing table so that we could do custom... Oh, there's our architecture, uh, architect saw bench, by the way. Um, and I went ahead and made a framing table so that we could make custom drawers. And if we step back here, I've started working on some of the storage area. Not a whole lot of stuff added, but I did add some compacting drawers. Got some of our metals um, slotted into here. Still kind of playing around with it, but I did work on making some compacting drawers. And I gathered up a bunch of wood. And if we step up here, um, this actually comes around on both sides. Um, I haven't cleared all this out. I'm kind of waiting. I'm honestly kind of waiting until we get a Tinker's Hammer. Um, Tinker's Construct Hammer before... Well, the only thing is... What is a forge take? Okay, it's just standard. Never mind. We could make that. As soon as we get into Tinker's Constructs, and as soon as we can start making... Uh, well, really, I guess. Seared bricks require grout. You can't make them in the smeltery in this pack. And grout requires gravel, sand, obsidian dust, and clay. Which really isn't all that bad, truth be told. Um... So I tell you what, let's do that. Let's do some sand, some clay, some gravel, some ash pile. Let's go ahead and get our Tinker's Hammer um, before we get started with the rest of the stuff that I would like to do. We'll go ahead and do, um, there's 16, that'll make a stack. And then we're going to need a stack, uh, not a stack of sand. 16 sand. Actually, I'll keep that sand on hand. That, because I'm going to want more grout than just that little bit. For some reason I was thinking that this required a lot more than it did. And I don't know why, I don't know why I was thinking that, but and then we'll get some clay. I'm probably going to get that thing running again um, as well. So, grout. There we go. There's a stack of grout. I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and get another stack going. Um, or another stack made. And we'll go ahead and get some coal. I do need to mine up some more regular coal. I've got other types of coal that I could use, but um, there's some dark stone. There we go. Okay, our grout's cooking. So we'll go ahead and start working on that stuff. We also have a quest. Um, one quest that's done here. Um, Astral Beginnings for getting Aquamarine. I found uh, there was some Aquamarine shell down in the little water area out front of our base. And I did grab that when I was going through there. So There's four pieces of paper. And... Um, let's go ahead and take a, a quick look at the tinkering section here. Um, because we might as well go ahead and do this. They're going to want us to get a uh, crafting station. We've already done that. But they want us to get a stencil table, blank pattern, 16 of them, part builder, tool station, part chest, pattern chest, all that stuff. Okay, so let's get... Uh, I've actually got wood on me. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this jungle wood as well. And let's get our patterns first. It's a little bit different than I was originally intending, but I would like to get a hammer. And it's actually not that bad to make. Um, blank patterns require wood. And you can use sharpened flint to get one or black quartz to get eight. I'm definitely going to go with the black quartz, I do believe. So let's go ahead and get... I'll uh, oh, just get two of those, I guess. And you know what? Let me go ahead and make another furnace. All right, go ahead and cook me up that black quartz. And while that's running, let's see, pattern chest is going to be a chest. So let's go ahead and get 
that. There we go. There's that. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our first eight patterns. There we go. And um, let's see, we're also going to want a... Um, actually, go ahead and give me two crafting tables. And this stuff, I'm going to set it up kind of temporarily for right now. And then it will get moved a little bit later on um, to more of like a dedicated smeltery tinkerer's construct type area. Um, but for right now, we'll just set it up in kind of a, a temporary spot. So, And I think all of these are fairly standard, I do believe. We'll double check it in just a moment. But, all right, there's 16 blank patterns, so that part's done. And then we need to get the, let's see, pattern chest, tool station, part builder, stencil table. And then we also have to get the part chest, which this requires a chest, blank pattern, some sticks, some wood, not too bad. So go ahead and give me that. And there we go. There's our part chest. And that should be, that quest is done. So we're going to get a flint pickaxe head, a slime binding, a slime tool rod, and materials and new book. Which is great. We should have actually done that a little bit sooner because that's going to give us a pick that we can fairly easily repair um, as opposed to using the iron one for digging out. But um, I don't know how it's going to fare against the, the speed of the iron one though for sure. So... Okay, so this stuff, we're going to set it up temporarily. We're going to set it up right over here. So we'll have the crafting station, the, let's see, the pattern chest, the tool station, the part builder, the stencil table, and then we'll go ahead and put a part chest like right there for right now. Of course, this stores um, parts. Honestly, not something that I tend to use a whole lot, but... Um, we do have it, so. Okay, and let's go ahead and make this into a pickaxe. There is a flint pickaxe. Mining speed of five. But we can repair that with flint, and honestly, it may mine. Eh, it's about the same as the iron pick, honestly. Just don't have to use up iron um, as often, so it's not too bad. Okay, so then they want us to make green slime crystals, blue slime crystals, magma slime crystals, and the obsidian sharpening kit. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the obsidian sharpening kit. Oh, this has to be made in the smeltery. I don't know. Let's take a look at the slime crystal. Because they want us to make a few of these. The magma one, um, which actually I believe that quest... We have the same quest over here, right? Yeah. For making seven magma slime crystals. Um, but like the green slime, that's just slime balls, sand, and dirt. Um, but it has to be standard slime balls. That's the only problem. Because as of right now, we don't have any standard slime balls. Same with the blue slime balls. We don't have those. Those could be obtained if we could find a uh, floating island. But I don't know. I haven't really... Let's see. Let's go out here a little bit and just kind of have a look around. Yeah, see, there's a there's a slime island right over there. So we might... Um, okay, it's still, it's still morning. But I think we've got plenty of... Uh, I probably should have grabbed like another, maybe another stack of cobblestone or something, but... That should be okay, I think. And my axe just broke, but I think we're good now. Yeah, and if we come up right here, that'll be perfect. And we may not actually need any more materials. If if I do need more, I can always use the grout. Because um, we can quickly break that. But this should be good. I do see melons down below, so we may try to get those um, on our way back. Another island right over there. Which looks like it has Pam's Horace Craft trees on it. Oddly enough. Oh, there went a blue slime. Falling to his death. I guess I could use smooth stone. Not a big issue to make that. Just hoping no slimes fall on me. Because they're falling off like at a crazy rapid rate. Like, look at that. Okay. 
Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. And honestly, we are set on slime balls now that we've gotten this. Because I'm going to get some of the slime saplings. I'm going to plant those. And we will be good. And then, of course, this congealed green, uh, congealed blue slime, we can break that down and get slime balls from that. Purple slime ball. Okay, we got a couple, a couple saplings here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and replant these as well. In case somebody else on the server comes by and, you know, I don't want them to have to climb this island for nothing. That's like the worst thing is when you climb an island and somebody hasn't replanted the saplings. And you get up there and it's just like, yeah, you climbed all the way up here for nothing. Okay, I lost a lot of those saplings. That's okay, though. We've got plenty of them. And I'll see if I can find them when we go back down. So I'll just replant like one, two, like that. Okay. Got over a stack of slime balls. Um, I would like to get maybe a few more of the blue. Okay. There's 20, there's 20 slime dart. I think that's going to be plenty. And then... To get down, what we're going to do is we're going to make an elevator. Um, let me actually go ahead and eat real quick. It's just a much faster way to get down. Um, I think there's actually some water down below that we could... Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, whoops. And that means I spawn all the way over here. Well, guess what? That's a pretty far run. We're going to do the slash back command. I don't normally use that a whole lot, but that's that's a bit of a far run. Okay. I didn't think about the slime actually falling a lot slower than us, but... Anyways, the slime's going to come down here and it's going to make an elevator so we can get back up there uh, fairly easily in the future. So... Go... And the sun's actually starting... Should be setting soon. All right, now there's probably going to be, I see saplings right there. We'll go ahead and snag those. There's probably blue slime balls um, around here. Back home we are. Okay, so the, uh, let's see, the blue. Let me go ahead and change that over. The, it was sand and, was it sand and dirt? Okay. That's not a problem. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some sand. And let's get ourselves some dirt. And go ahead and give me a little bit more of that sand. Okay, so they want us to make three green slime and three blue slime crystals. Oh, all this stuff. All right, and then give me like a piece of coal. Let's go ahead and break that down into tiny coal. We'll get these slime crystals smelted. Um, and that'll knock out a couple quests for us, but <clears throat> not anything that we really need, like in a pressing way at the moment, but still something uh, useful there. Okay, let's get the rest of that grout smelting up, if we can, which we can't. <laughs> we can't smelt all of it right now, but um, I've got some other coal. I could use that. Um, let's see, lignite is a thousand Venomous coal. There's not miniature versions of these, is there? Oh yeah, coal pellets. We can actually just change it straight over into coal pellets, which yeah, each piece of bitumus is you know, it smelts twelve items. Okay. Well I'm gonna start it out with just the standard coal that we have left and then I'll change it over. There's a lot of coal veins around us, so it's not really you know, I could go smelt that no problem, or uh, mine that no problem. It's not like we're short on it, it's just I don't always bother to mine it, truth be told. Um, okay, so the tinkering. Green slime crystals, we're done with that, and they're going to give us one more. And then I don't understand why this is before the smeltery. I cannot... Like, I can't wrap my head around that because it's, it has to be made in the smeltery, but you don't start making the smeltery pieces until here. I'll go ahead and manual detect that. So once we get through that, we can auto-complete that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We may go ahead and make a smeltery, though, today. It would be quite handy. 
All right, and there's the blue slime crystals that we need. So we'll go ahead and turn that quest in. And they're going to give us another blue slime crystal. Okay, and then I guess we're going to start making... Um, well, we can go ahead and make our tool forge for starters. Um, that's full. That's full. Okay. I've got so much just junk piling up. This pack, there's so much stuff. It's got like all the things. Okay, so we're going to need one, two, three, four. No, I'm sorry. Just three sear bricks. We're going to need more shortly, but um, we'll start with that. And then we're also going to need a bit of iron. And we'll go ahead and throw together our four blocks of iron. Okay, I'm going to put this stuff up. Okay, and then we need our tool station. Let's go ahead and take that. Let me make a new... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go make a new axe. I need to just make an axe with Tinker's Construct, but since we're so close to the smeltery, we will do that. But I'm going to wait until we actually get the smeltery set up because it just kind of makes sense. We'll take that. And then tool station, seared bricks block of iron and we get our tool forge awesome so that is done is there a quest for that by the way yes and we've already completed it so once we get the obsidian sharpening kit and the magma slime crystals we'll pretty much just roll right through all this stuff and then we can start getting cobalt and everything okay so next up uh let's go ahead and lay ourselves out of smeltery okay and i'm gonna go ahead and make 16 seared bricks and temporarily, for right now, we're going to put the smeltery just right in here. Because I'm kind of focusing on this side of the base right now, and then we'll work on this side. But um, once we get that hammer, it's going to be a whole lot faster. It really, really is. So since I think we're going to have plenty of grout, I'm going to go ahead and just make a 3x3. Three three. I like this size a bit more. And I know now you don't really have to make it in a 3x3. Three three. You could do a one block size smeltery. Um, and that's perfectly fine, but... Okay, so for the controller, it's basically just a furnace um, is what we need. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a furnace. <clears throat> and then surround that with seared bricks. And there is our seared... Oh, that's seared furnace. It's not the smeltery controller. Um, smeltery controller is... Is this where it takes the steel? I think it is. No, it takes a bloomery and a magma slime crystal. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, then, I'll tell you what. Let me... Let me put up a few things here. I'll just dump these things off. We're going to head into the nether. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, we're going to head into the nether, and we're going to go get the stuff that we need to make our magma slime crystals, which is really just magma slime. We can get a sapling. We can replant it here. Um, you know, it's not a big deal. And unless somebody has taken it, I had near the, uh, fairly close to the spawn point. This was the one I replanted on, but somebody's come through and grabbed all of those, too. So, Oh, there's a sapling down there. Okay, that's perfect. That's what we need. It just hasn't grown yet. So that is fine. That is a-okay. We just have to get down there, which is... Actually, we can go down right here. That'll get us a bit closer, and then... Oh my gosh. You! Ah! Okay. He's right over there. Okay. Let's try to pull them back over to here. The blaze, I need to get him just a little bit closer. <clears throat> he should be like one hit from dead, though. And while we're here, we might as well go ahead and get some magma slime. Um, of course, that stuff is craftable, but if we can just farm it, all the better. Okay, that guy, there we go. He's got to go. He's like the big annoyance. Hopefully, they'll start dropping some magma slime. I mean, if not, we've got the blaze rods. I mean, we could make them... 
like here's the thing it says in the quest book you know you can make a macerator um to get more output from your uh those are the blocks we need to we could just harvest some of them but um you can make a macerator and get more output but the thing is the macerator requires bronze and i don't believe that we can actually even make bronze until we get the smeltery um, i could be wrong but i don't think that we can so you know we need uh magma let's see we need magma cream is what we're trying to make by the way it's not magma i keep calling it magma slime but magma cream but not too bad. I mean, really, this molten core, there's three magma cream right there. Um, this is for making steel. We just need the orange slime blocks for making the magma crystal. And then also making steel as well. But what in the world? Okay. Oh, because we got slimy on our tool. That's right. Um, Alright. Go ahead and give me these magma slime crystal. Oh, it requires magma cream. Soul Sand, Netherrack. I think we've got plenty of Soul Sand and Netherrack, though. I may grab some more on the way out, just to be on the safe side, but I am fairly certain that we have plenty of it. Okay, and we just completed a quest as well. So, this quest, is it this one? Yeah. Collect 14 orange slime balls, we've done that. And then our blaze rods, um, we'll just go ahead and just break these down by hand. And we can combine those together with, uh, that'll work. There's seven magma cream, and that completes that quest. Then they want us to make seven magma slime crystals. Now, we actually need, um, one more in addition, though. Because we're trying to make the smeltery as well. So, we'll get the, we'll probably get the blast furnace done and the, the smeltery done this episode. So, alright, there's two more... There we go, there's 32. Do we want to grab like, yeah, we'll grab this little patch over here for the road. Oops, there we go. And I'll come back a little bit later and I'm gonna get this sapling planted in the overworld. I'll come back and replant um, some more on this little island. So now we have to get back though, that's the only thing, so. Okay, we're back. Um, I did find a ghostwood sapling I went ahead and grabbed, or a ghostwood tree, I went ahead and grabbed a little bit of that. And um, also grabbed a little bit of soul sand on the way back out, so. Okay, so the magma uh, slime crystals. We need to make seven of these. So, soul sand, netherrack, magma cream, slime balls. Um, let's go ahead and get... Let's see, we've got plenty of that, plenty of that. We are going to need... Um, like one more little bit of magma cream. So, yeah, that'll be fine. There we go. And... Magma Slime Crystal, the Slimy Mud. Let's go ahead and get eight of these. And then let me get... Um, I'll just grab a little bit of this Lignit Coal. Make a little bit of these Coal Pellets. And Magma Slime Crystals, that should complete the quest in Tinkering. Actually, we get one, right, for doing this, so we didn't have to make that extra one, I guess. So we'll go ahead and claim that reward. Okay, and then um, we are going to need a bloomery for this. So we'll just make a new one. That's fine. That's not a problem. So the bloomery requires uh, double compressed cobble or a coal heater. Uh, coal heaters, tin, red dye, dried bricks. Um, I'm just going to do double compressed cobble. It's not really much of an issue to make that. And now that I think about it <laughs> earlier, I don't know why I did this. I went over here and I grabbed iron on here and went and made iron blocks. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, excuse me. It's been a long week. Or last week was a long week, so. Um, <laughs> I have no clue. Um, oh, wait. We've got a furnace right here. We'll go ahead and just snag that one. And then we're going to need the slime copper heat cables. So just six slime balls, three copper. And we'll have that, so there we go. Another bloomery. And then we can get our smeltery. So it's that, 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 and there's our smeltery controller. Then we need to get ourselves some drains. And I'm going to go ahead and get two faucets. 
we'll get one smeltery drain and we'll get uh oh yeah we're gonna need a tank right so let's get oh this one still works right yep seared tank we're gonna take that and that's pretty much it and honestly we should have enough grout or enough seared bricks that we can make this too high which is ideal I quite like it so do it just like that uh, smeltery controller right here we'll do the smeltery drain um, right here we'll do the faucets bam bam uh, the tank we'll set it right there and there we go our smeltery is done let's get ourselves a casting table and a casting basin and we'll go ahead and lay those out and then one other thing that I would like to have is let's get one more pattern chest and of course this is for making casts so there's that that and we'll put the pattern chest right there okay and I believe that's all done that quest is completed that quest is completed perfect okay okay so then of course we have to get lava to put in there um, by the way we haven't even made a bucket have we it's just an iron um, but out of curiosity I believe we could do the ranged pumps but these do require power don't they and block of diamond Ooh. yeah we might just manually collect lava for the time being that's not a problem um, but let's get the rest of these magma slime crystals and that means that this quest right here the interlude quest this is done and we're going to get a magma slime sapling magma slimy dirt and two blaze rods so there we go and what does it take to make a drum can we make a drum right now like an iron drum I think it's all pretty well standard oh aluminum plates uh-huh well we should be able to make a stone drum cobblestone bowl cobblestone slabs that's fine doesn't store a whole lot but really we don't need um, a whole whole lot of this stuff right now so let's just grab that we'll go ahead and get slabs I've got a bowl though There we go. There's our stone drum. Go ahead and grab a couple buckets here. And let's go get ourselves some lava. And I'm just going to head down into the mine to get this. Um, and I think this, this thing only stores, I think it's 16 buckets. It's not a whole lot, but it's plenty fine for an early game smeltery. You know, that's not a problem. And the nice thing is, once we get the uh, city and sharpening kit, I mean, we've got a lot of quests that are just going to we're just gonna blow through as soon as we get that so there we go the drum is filled so it's got 16 buckets of lava in it and then I'm gonna go ahead and just fill these two up to take back with us as well so and all right I need to clean up this mine so we actually have like stairs and stuff like that that is something that I need to do but the mines gonna get moved that's the only reason I haven't because it's not going to stay right where it's at. Because that's going to be like our entry. Uh, the build will make sense before too long. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, it's not necessarily going to feel underground once it's done, basically. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and load up the tank. There's one bucket. Two bucket. And then we'll just put this here. There's three and four. Okay. So this is all filled up now, and then we're going to need to get ourselves some aluminum brass made, which is, I always forget, is it, it's three parts aluminum, two part, or one part copper? Yeah, one part copper, three aluminum. So we'll just do three aluminum ore, one copper ore. That should be plenty of aluminum brass for our needs. 
There we go. It's grafting that up. And then, uh, let's see, stencil table. Let's go ahead and let me go grab these patterns out of here. Getting that smeltery today. Originally, I wasn't planning on getting that today, but I'm glad that we did because it's going to come, it's going to be very, very handy to do that. Okay, the sharpening kit. Okay, this right here. I want the sharpening kit pattern. Um, that's the only one I'm going to make right this second. We'll get into more Tinker's Constructs next episode and get our uh, Blast Furnace. But I know it's fairly close to wrapping up points, so we'll do that next episode. So sharpening kit, we can make that out of flint, I believe. 64, that sounds good. And then there's a flint sharpening kit. And then what we can do is this should be done... Molten Aluminum Brass, we'll just put that in there, and let's make a cast of that, and then let's get ourselves, um, I'm going to go ahead and do like four bits of obsidian, because if nothing else, we're going to need it for Alumite, um, probably next episode, so that's fine. Okay, so we got a sharpening kit cast, and I'll tell you what, just for next episode, so that stuff can go ahead and start running, let's go ahead and make, um, I want like a sword blade pattern, a hand guard pattern, tool rod pattern. And this stuff, we'll go ahead and make it out of stone. Oh, we could have made it in a stone sharpening kit too, I guess. Okay, we'll go ahead and get some stone tool pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and cast those real quick. I just made a blank cast. Whoops. Well, we can use that later for reinforcement modifiers. It's not a big deal that I made it. Just now I'm out of a molten aluminum. So, that's okay. I'll just put that right in there for right now. I've got to go mining and see if I can find some more aluminum. Because we don't really have a whole lot of it. Okay, so the obsidian is done. Let's go ahead and get our sharpening kit cast. We'll go ahead and cast one of these out of obsidian. Requires two blocks of obsidian to make it. And there we go. Okay, so tinkering quest right here. Manual detect, that's done. They're going to give us 16 flint sharpening kits. Okay. Okay, and then let's go over to the tool forge. Let's take our flint pickaxe that we made and take our obsidian sharpening kit. And is it the flint? Yeah. And it's going to fortify this. Um, does it, I don't think it takes a modifier, does it? No. It has one modifier, it still has one modifier. Okay, so right here, the, um, mining level right now is iron. Then it's going to be mining level obsidian. You can see it's fortified obsidian, harder, better, faster, stronger. Great song. Um, so now it can mine obsidian level stuff, um, which we will be making a new pickaxe, but for right now, that's going to come in handy. And then we've got some quests to turn in. Uh, first up, they're going to give us, for 64 sear bricks, they're going to give us 16 more. We'll use those later. Smeltery controller, they're going to give us two buckets of lava. That's nice. Um, smeltery, getting all that stuff, they're going to give us bauxite, copper dust, which bauxite is aluminum, so that's fine. <clears throat> and then we get to pick either a pickaxe head cast or aluminum brass ingot. I'm going to take the pickaxe head cast, because we're going to have to have that. And then... Um, Right here, the Tool Forge. We're going to get a Slime Tough Tool Rod, Paper Tough Binding, a Broad Axe Head, Netherrack Broad Axe Head. That's going to be useful. An Electrum Large Plate, and then we get to pick either a Broad Axe Head Cast, Tough Binding Cast, Tool Rod, uh, Tough Tool Rod Cast, or a Large Plate Cast. I'm going to go ahead and just take the Broad Axe Head Cast from that. Okay, so now we've got some pretty nice things. Um, I'm just going to dump that stuff in there. Let's go ahead and make the, the axe that they gave us the tools, or the parts for. So, broad axe, electrum plates, netherrack head, there we go. There is a netherrack electrum lumber axe. Oh man, that's going to make life a whole lot easier too. And then let's go ahead and throw in um, the bauxite and the copper that they gave us, and get some more aluminum brass being made. Um, because that will be that will be useful as well. And these buckets of lava, I'm just going to go ahead and dump these in there to top this back off. 
Okay, we are in business now. And there we go, more molten aluminum brass. And let me grab that part that we made earlier. And we'll go ahead and cast that real quick. So, I still want to make a hammer. Um, but honestly, next episode, I think next episode, instead of... Um, we'll try to get into steel next episode. Make the blast furnace and all that, but... Um, we are definitely going to be working with some Tinker's Constructs, upgrading some tools and things like that, and moving. I want to go get Cobalt, um, start moving into some of that stuff. But this Lumber Axe, uh, it's going to be so much easier to get wood because, pow, chops down the whole tree, and <laughs> it's going to make my life so much easier, so much easier. Um, but I think for right now, let's see, let's get, um, let's get the Hammerhead Pattern. And then let's get the tough rod, the large plate, the tough binding. Um, well, let's go ahead and get a broad axe head. I'm not really going to need it, but um, and then a shard. That's fine. I'm going to get all those made. I'm just going to get them crafted up and everything. Okay, so the hammer head. Let's go ahead and make it out of stone. I do believe. Of course, we get the cheap skate thing, but. I believe it's still got enough durability that it should be fine for very, very early game. So, which that's my plan. And then next episode we can make a good one with Cobalt and all that and really start. Um, it's going to allow us to really start clearing out the base, which is getting this cleared out is pretty much the first step. Okay, and then what we can do is... ka cha ka cha Gotcha. Okay, well that's only three uses, so that's not great. Of course, I mean, it's easy to repair. It's like that. Like one cobble repairs it. Um, but one thing that I could do is... Maybe we'll do the, uh, the plates out of flint. That's fine. We'll do the rod out of slime. And then we'll do the hammerhead out of flint. It's not going to be a great tool, but, I mean, this stuff, it'll do the trick. So, hammer. There we go. So that's got crude. Bonus damage against unarmored tar targets. Uh, but it has a bit more durability, and we can repair it with flint. And that's fine. That'll be okay. We could have thrown, like, some netherrack or something in there, but, I mean, realistically, this is just going to be for, like, one episode, and then we'll make a new one. Um, come next episode, but And this thing yeah, see it doesn't take as much damage so I can actually kind of mine out this area a bit better Kind of start cleaning up the base some and digging all this stuff away Which is gonna be very very nice so and then I can always use flint to come over here and um, let me Grab this I have to empty out my inventory and stuff, but um, Grab this flint there we go. For like one flint, it's full durability again. So that is definitely going to come in handy. So anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point uh, for this episode. So I am going to end it out here. Uh, next episode when we come back, like I said, we're going to work on um, a little bit more of the quest book here. Um, my goal is we're probably going to finish out um, likely this section, this tinkering section, um, because there's not a whole lot left to that. And also this section here, we're going to get this done. We're going to start um, producing, or this is for Coke, Coke oven. So we'll start, we'll get the Coke oven set up and then uh, maybe start working our way towards steel. But we're definitely going to be upgrading tools. Um, and we're also going to be getting, they want us to get some bronze right here. Um, so we will get that. And then honestly, once we get bronze, we could start working on IC2. And I believe forestry as well. So we may start looking at that next episode. If not, it'll be the episode after. Um, but we will definitely, definitely be working on Tinker's Constructs. Get the coke oven set up. And then um, maybe work towards, maybe work towards steel or maybe start uh, IC2. IC2 would be kind of handy to have, I feel like. So we're kind of getting somewhere now. And we, we're at the point now where we can kind of start splitting off away from um, just the direct like the directions that the quest book gives us. You know, we, we have a little bit more options now um, with where we're at and everything, which is good. So, 
Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. Uh, once again, sorry that this is as light as it is <clears throat> uh, coming out and everything. And it's just a very, very busy week for me. It didn't it didn't quite work out as far as recording time is like the way I was hoping. So, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys next time.